There, that was good. Oh, golly. Oh, it came up off the ground. What is up, guys? My name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog, guys. Finally, finally all the snow is gone. It's all dried up. Literally three days ago, all of Texas was like frozen over, no elect electricity, nothing. It was like negative one degree. And now today it's 71, beautiful, sunny. Almost everything's dried up. There's still some puddles, but my point is, is now we can actually get out and continue what we tried, started to do, which was compare the Sentin 4x4 with the Traxxas Slash 4x4. So I started and I'll put the, I'll put the videos in the eye above but basically all we know right now is the Slash is much easier to drive than the Sentin 4x4 out of the box. With that said, I did that without TSM on the Slash 4x4. I turned TSM back on on the Slash 4x4 and we're gonna see how, mu how much easier it is to drive with that. And then we're also, we're gonna do speed runs. We're gonna do a speed run comparison between the two. I put the 3S versions of what the manufacturer makes so basically the Traxxas 3s 5000 25c and the slash 4x4 and then the spectrum 5000 i think it's a 50c uh 3s in the sent 4x4 so it should be a pretty good comparison and we'll just see which ones are faster out of the box my guess is the sentence is going to be just a little bit faster out of the box uh but we'll find out here in a second and then after that after that i'm going to kind of I had some suggestions from some people on how to make the Sentin handle better and we're going to try some out. Um, and I say some because some of them take a lot longer to uh, kind of install but the first the first one we're going to do is we're going to switch the tires off the slash onto the Sentin see if that improves and then we're going to switch the receivers and see if TSM improves on the Sentin. So hopefully we can get all that done in this video but let's get started. All right, so the first run is gonna be with the Sentin 4x4. We'll do about three speed runs. The battery's fresh right now. This is the 5,000. Something must be in there. This is the 5,000 3S um, Spectrum battery. So this will be the first one on speed runs. Golly, it's hard to drive. It already spun out. All right, I'm gonna have to be, I'm gonna have to be easy on the throttle. Oh my god, I didn't want to hit you. What was that? Um 46. What'd that do? 45. What was that? 47. Alright, we're gonna do one more. Um, because it's kind of hard to keep the nose down and I don't feel like I got the, the clean run I got was a 47 um, we're gonna go one more just to be sure Whoa, you got fi exactly 50 all right we're gonna go with the 50 on the Sentin um, that was pretty much the fastest I could go you could even tell you probably can't tell in the video but I could tell like the front wheels were barely touching the ground like if there was a little gush of wind it was gonna pull it up so I think 50 is pretty solid on that 47 run where I kept all like the nose on the ground. I did feel like I could have gone a little bit more, but I think that 50 was a full run. So we're going to go with 50 with the Sentin, which is pretty freaking fast. I'm not going to lie. I'm impressed. I mean, I didn't change gearing or nothing. That was just out of the box with a 3S battery. That's a 50C. I bet you the 100C will go a little bit faster. And if I adjusted the car a little bit, I bet you I could keep it where the nose would be down a little bit. But let's run the Slash 4x4. All right, up next, slash four wheel drive VXL. This is not the ultimate. This is just the stock VXL four x four, so it doesn't have the LCG chassis. Uh, yes, Evan is in the shadow there. My boy Q-Tip. Um, yeah, so TSM is back on on this thing. This is how it is out of the box. 5,000 3S, Traxxas battery. All right, slash four x four. Forty-six. Forty-five. Forty-six. Hi guys, forty-six. Forty-six was the fastest speed that we recorded on the Slash 4x4. 
I'm not gonna lie. The thing about the slash four x four is I literally just got on it. Like it got on the street and I got on it and it was extremely stable. The nose never came up. Um, it had a little bit of speed wobbles, but you could control it all the way through. It never washed out. It was just so easy to drive, but it was a little bit slower, 46. So out of the box, again, these are all measured out of the box. This is not, and nothing modified. And that's what this test is, is if you go buy both cars, which one's faster? The Senn 4x4 is faster. 50 miles an hour, Senn 4x4, 46, slash 4x4 VXL. So one thing I want to show you guys before I start moving tires around and putting receivers in this thing is the difference on how, how different it is to drive and how much easier it is to drive. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna hand the camera over to Evan and I'm just gonna basically get on the get on the street and just floor it and you'll see how easy and I'm, I'm gonna be driving them the same. Um, you'll see how much more stable the slash 4x4 is. It's kind of crazy. I mean, I can literally just smash it and it just, it goes, it goes straight every time. It's so stable, it's so much, it's so easy to drive, it's unreal. Like a car with this much power, you would think would be a little bit harder, like it would just lose a little bit of control, but no, it's, I mean, right here from a dead stop, full throttle, straight as an arrow. Dead stop, full throttle. Straight as an arrow, guys. See the speed wobbles? Which when you're going that fast, when you're going that fast, it makes sense. But it's it's just so stable. Here, just for just for fun, let's do it through the water. Let's get the tires away and see if it's stable. Oh my god! Like even through even if the tires are wet, it's it's got to be a combination of just the setup. Maybe the slipper, which is part of the setup, and then the TSM just makes it so easy to drive. All right, this is a Sentin 4x4, just kind of the st stability test that we just did, similar to the Slash 4x4. I'm just gonna kind of gun it down this thing, and you'll see how stable it is, or not is, here. Oh! All right, from dead stop, I'm gonna gun it. See, it just spun out. Like if I feather it a little bit, even when I feather it, ah! Oh! Like even when I feather it, it's still kind of out of control. It's so windy out here too. That was all driver right there. All right, dead stop. Spun out. It's gonna be kind of easier on throttle here. I'll just kind of roll into it and then punch it after I roll out. Oh! It just lost it. I mean, it's just, the back end just washes out so bad and maybe it's all the power, but it's just hard to drive. Okay, we're gonna make some changes to it. All right, so the suggestion that I got online and someone just said, try this, and it made sense because I feel like the maybe the rubber, the, the tires on the Slash 4x4 just a little bit better, was to put the Slash 4x4 wheels and tires on the Sentin. Um, you can't because the hex sizes are different. So, yeah, that's not gonna work. We're gonna try to put the TSM receiver in this thing. Hopefully I can just plop it in there real quick. Ah, I didn't bring any two-sided tape, dang it. We might have to go home and try it. So let, let's do that. All right, I don't have any two-sided tape, but there might be some left in there, and I think if I smash it down enough, it should be fine. We're going to give it a shot anyways. This receiver is actually bought by one of my Patreons. Big shout-out to that guy. Thanks a lot uh, for hooking it up with that. And basically, I'm going to put this in here and see if TSM on this car will just help it. Maybe maybe that's the, the missing link. All right, I got the TSM receiver in there. I did have just enough two-sided tape for it to work in there. The hardest part was getting the antenna. <laughs> getting the antenna through this this little hole because you basically have to take this entire servo tray out um but it's in there and tsm is working actually let me have evan hold the camera here bud all right tsm is working i'll show you guys see those front wheels how they're turning on their own i am not turning that so tsm is working on it should be pretty cool 
I'm gonna turn TSM to 50% actually we'll turn it to 30% like I did on the slash 4x4 and then we'll play with it from there to see how it is uh, but we'll see if this this helps all right guys here it is this is with TSM oh it does it is a lot easier with TSM look at that how close I was to the freaking curb and it was just fine all right from dead stop TSM set in 4x4 3s look at that I mean you can tell it still tries to wash out but the TSM does correct it wow that's it that's the that's the thing so TSM is actually set at 30 percent which is what the slash 4x4 was set at but it is so much easier to drive with TSM on this car like even when it washes out it still it still corrects itself you can regain it no problem And that was through water, and it's, oh, it's so much more stable with TSM. So basically, Arma has a, a version of this. It's called AVS. It's almost like maybe the Sentin 4x4 just needs AVS to be just as easy to drive. But yeah, it's actually pretty fun. TSM with a Sentin 4x4, way easier to drive. Even Evan says it's a lot easier to drive. Uh, that that's what it is, guys. Um, I think I think there's probably some more like there's more setup stuff, but all that car needs is some type of like stability management, ABS or TSM, and it's just as easy to drive as a slash 4x4 VXL. Which again, I don't remember the prices off the top of my head, but the slash 4x4 is a little bit more expensive, which makes sense because you have a little bit more technology, which makes it easier to drive yeah that's uh that's pretty awesome we did it guys we fixed the handling problems of the Sentin 4x4 all it needs is some stability management that's it so tsm did fix it again spectrum avc i think that would fix it or avs i don't know which one it is uh, but i'm going to keep it in there i'm going to keep this, the traxxas remote in the Sentin with the tsm receiver it's just so much easier to drive and if i ever just hand it to my kids to drive i'll feel a little bit more confident that they won't just wad it up into a curb so Anyways, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.